Hi, so I'll be doing the final part for source information for animal care needs. So I'm just going to go through um, an overview of uh, what exactly Bevector does, as well as um, all of the other relevant information as pre-described on the work workplace observation report. So basically, in a nutshell, um, Bevector defends against paralysis ticks for four months and fleas for three months. They also treat brown dog ticks, subcoptes, and demodex, um, sorry, and ear mites. And they can also be used in puppies over eight weeks of age, weighing at least two kilograms, and are also safe in breeding pregnant and lactating dogs. So in um, detail, to cover exactly what uh, Bevecto um, deals with, is uh, Bevecto kills adult fleas and is indicated for treatment and prevention of flea infestations and the treatment and control of tick infestations, uh, the black-legged tick more specifically, and as well as the American dog tick and the brown dog tick. So uh, this is, again, should be administered 12 weeks in dogs and puppies six months of age and older and weighing 4.4 pounds, the equivalent in kilograms or greater. Prevecto is also indicated for the treatment and control of the Lone Star Tick infestations, which start in dogs um, at least eight weeks and puppies uh, at six months of age and older, and again, weighing the same amount of 4.4 pounds. So um, a breakdown of some of the adverse effects that took place within the population that was tested on. So overall, uh, Prevecto showed to have no... Um, direct correlation to any adverse effects except for some minor related um, incidences. So a breakdown of what happened in this study was there was 7% in the uh, Brevector group that um, portrays uh, vomiting symptoms and also um, a decreased appetite was 6.7%, in diarrhea there was 4.9%, in lethargy there was 5.4%, in polydipsia there was 1.8% and in flatulence there was 1.3%. So considering vomiting was 7% being the highest, uh, considering it's only 7% out of the whole population, it's um, an insignificant um, reaction. And again, these are all um, relatively um, self-curing um, kind of illnesses or ailments at the time. So um, basically, um, the ranges and the dosages, depending on weight, d depends on um, which um, bevector pill needs to be used. So there's five different categories of weight. So 4.4 to 9.9 .9 kilograms, it is required to have 112.5 milligrams of fluorina, uh, fluorilana, rather, which is the main active ingredient in bevector. And again, the two uh, requires just one. 9.9 .9 to 22 kilograms is 250 milligrams, which is again one dosage of the pill. 22 to 44 kilograms is 500 milligrams, 44 kilograms to 88 kilograms is 1,000 milligrams, and 88 kilograms, 123 kilograms, rather pounds, is 1,400, 1400 milligrams. And again, it's all in, the, um, in a one pill dosage. So I'm um, available to use on all dogs above eight weeks, as, as previously stated, and also with pedi um, pediatric and pregnant females with minimal adverse effects. It's better to be taken with food, and considering there's no predisposition to this um, drug specifically, it suggests that um, any allergic or toxic reactions are highly unlikely. Each chew is formulated to provide a minimum dose of 25 milligram per kilogram of body weight, and they have different options, which is the um, singular a uh, chewable Prevector pill, or they also have six-month uh, drops for Prevector specifically, also with the um, complementary hot and, um, and ring warming tablets. So, um, of, of course, there's another whole, there's a few other varieties of um, Brands and Clooney Advocate, uh, Revolution, and um, Frontier that all do and deal with um, other combinations of fleas and ticks and worms, depending on the pill that one is going to be using. So again, once the um, animal's admitted, let's, um, let's say if they're being vaccinated, there's a high likeliness that um, the vets will um, prescribe these relevant pills every three months or six months, depending on which one, in this case, three months, which um, will then deal with um, the killing of fleas and ticks, as well as um, other worming-related um, potential issues that could occur. So in, this, um, in the clinic environment, all the appropriate paperwork would be filled out. Um, in the admission form, they would be previously stated whether they would have the drug administered or not, and um, this would be and happen throughout the consultation period. Um, client's permission, of course, would be required um, prior to administering medication, and all of the relevant information would be put into a discharge form to then be passed on to the 
client being dealt with. Um, thank you so much for watching.